Hello everyone, welcome to bmodeler.com. In this video tutorial, we will be learning the basics of fire protection systems. What are the types that are available? The sprinklers and their components. What are the components available? For them? So, what are the things that we are discussing? We are uploading to YouTube, and the later files will be uploaded to the bmodeler.com. Let's dive into this. Um, this is the uh, example of fire plant room. You can Google it uh, how it looks. Uh, each fire plant room looks different. Um, it, it may contains electrical panels to the pumps, sets, and their related accessories like wall pumps will be there in this room. And we will be having this fire panel. So not similarly as in all the projects, so it will be different to projects. And some of the elements you may see it in normal buildings also, which is fire hydrants. So these all are one of uh, the component of fire protections. And you'll be have maybe seeing them as this tubes for fire protection purpose in the corner of the buildings, the nearby the staircase, lift and hallways you will be having. Some of the equipments are you are seeing it break glass and fire alarm devices in the top and the fire cables and everything. So if you see that the fire components all looks red colors. Whenever you see a pipe which is running in your building as red color, you can see you can understand them. They are fire protection components or fire protection pipe work. You may see it in many movies or things if you are not familiar with fire protection. So this is a sprinkler when the heat uh, touches it, uh, the tube will have blast. So it will be blast and this place it becomes open. The pipe contains which is water or some other uh, um, liquid or foam it will be spread into the rooms to uh, close up the fires. So this could be an example for valve arrangements. There are uh, valves and accessories available in this place, uh, which shows the pressure in the valves. Before the uh, valve, uh, it could be any valves like motorized valve controlled with the panels. Based on the fire, uh, the valves will be opened or closed. The pressure will be different in each side before valve and after valve. So you may have to have two walls testing points and other things in this place. There are also a manual control wall so which uh, we can use it manually to pop it by default it is open in position. What are the types of fire protection system? So by default in a rivet if you see if you are taking the pipes you will be able to see these fire protection bed, fire protection dry, fire protection free action and uh, fire protection other systems you know that uh, you can create your own systems based on your requirement because uh, in industries there are more systems other than these or combining these systems we will be able to create our own system also so for example uh, let's go and discuss one by one fire protection bed so install more often this is the system you will be seeing it more often if it is a sprinkler systems um, you will be having a sprinkler in the pipes, you will be having the pressurized water will be there. Once the sp sprinkler blasts, the water will be um, closing off the fires based on that. The problem is that the water will be there in, in, in all sides all, all the time. So if accidentally damaged, a uh, sprinkler can cause the damage to our property or damage to the um, economic loss of due to the artwork and other things. If it is a bookshelf, if it is a computer, you will be lost. Fire protection dry. So main meaning itself, you can understand dry. The pipe will not have the water inside, and uh, you may have uh, different ways also. Once the uh, sprinkler blasts, so there is a pressure difference in the system. So so once it is done, so water will be passed on to that later, or uh, it will have the pressurized. Air will be released so 
we will be able to find it out if the structural laws and what can come in. So why we have to uh, place dry system? So see if you are using it as a um, bed system. So if you are in the freezing places like countries or the place um, situation nearby the freezing places, the water will be freezed and you will not have the flow of water inside the pipe. So you may have to have a dry system in this place. So water will not be present at that time. So this is the second most used system in the buildings. Fire protection of uh, pre-action, this is pre-action sprinkler system are specially designed and used in museum and data centers or gallery of the more um, the more affected by the water we cannot use the wet or dry system in that place we have to use uh, a specialized system we have to take a pre-action um, action the fire should be happening and we have to check that whether it has happened or not and then we have to release the water to the system so this is going to be a combination of wet dry and dilute system so as we discussed so the water will not be there and the system fire alarm system electrical system will detect and uh, it will say that the fire is raised and uh, if, if you see that the water will not come out and this is one scenario because the wall uh, will be open but the sprinkler will not be blast if it is an accidental wall so once if if uh, accidentally if you are breaking the sprinkler um, the water will not come because it's a dry system and the wall will be closed because the wall will be controlled by a control panel where uh, the smoke also need to be detected uh, in the smoke detector and it has to release the wall. So both action has to happen so that uh, both uh, will be happening and the fire will happen and the water will come out of the wall and the sprinkler, whatever the sprinkler not all, all sprinklers, whatever the sprinkler open, it will be uh, having water from that. So these are the basic four types used. There are other systems where chemicals and foams, antifreeze uh, liquid will be used. And there are electronic sprinklers instead of uh, uh, blasting fuel. A combination of these and there are innovative systems other than these also available based on the requirement, based on the room we are using or based on the building that we are uh, most of the buildings uh, uh, are as per government regulations. We have to have at least a hydrant uh, to exhaust the fire. And some of the buildings will have only the riser, fire hydrant pipes, riser pipes, and will not have any uh, system to the roofs. And we have to use this hose, fire hose, and we have to, if, if any case fire, we have to use this hose and distribute the water. So this is, these are the basic things that we are learning. Um, so we'll be learning next how to create a fire protection system in Revit in the next program. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next program.